Hello to all of our new Year 7 students and their families and a very warm welcome to Millthorpe School. We feel that you have made an excellent choice in choosing to come and join us in September. My name is Mr Baybot, I'm the Assistant Head Teacher for Pastoral Care here at Millthorpe. I've been at Millthorpe for 14 years now um, and in that time I've helped over 2,500 students do exactly what you're about to do. So I hope that you feel that you're in capable hands. I also teach history at Melthorpe, so I might be your history teacher at some point. And this presentation was delivered by Miss Forrester at your primary schools, uh, but obviously it'd be really hard to remember everything that she told you. So we wanted to send this through to you as well, so that you can watch it back as many times as you feel you need to, so that you know everything to expect. We'll be welcoming you to Melthorpe on Monday the 4th of July for the Parents and Carers Information Evening and for your induction day on Wednesday the 6th of July where you'll be with us for the full day. More details on that to follow soon. You'll also have the first day in September by yourself so it will only be the new year sevens in school on that day and with some year 11 student helpers as well to help you to settle in and show you around and then there'll be three hours on the second day just in your forms so that you can get to know everybody properly. And we'll remind you of everything that you need to know then. We've also sent everything in the Moving to Millthorpe booklets. So please do ask your parents and carers to show you these so that you can have a read through them. So how many students will come together to make Year 7 at Millthorpe? Well, there'll be 235 of you just in Year 7. You're coming from 18 different primary schools from across York. So just think about how many new friends you will make be lots of new people for you to meet and lifelong friends for you to make here at Millthorpe School. You'll be organised into a form or a tutor group and there'll be 26 to 30 other students in your form. You might know some of them but definitely not all of them because you're coming from all different places across the city. And your parents and carers have already told us who you would like to be in a form with and we will do our best but remember that's not a promise. It's very unlikely you'll get all four of your cho choices, but we do promise to try to make sure that you are with at least one of the friends that you named. You'll be really well looked after when you get to Millthorpe. You'll have a form tutor who will see you every single day. And that's a teacher in school who will get to know you really well, a bit like your year six teacher does now, and they will be your key person in school and will send you an introduction to them soon. They'll also be the first point of contact for your parents and carers if they need to get in touch with us for anything. And you'll meet them at those events that are coming up in July. You'll also have two members of the pastoral team looking after you in year seven. So that's Miss Forrester on the left here as your head of year and Mrs Roberts on the right here as your deputy head of year. If you need a little a bit of extra help or support, We've got an excellent inclusion team that's led by Mrs Armitage and Mrs Fisher and they look after anybody that needs a little bit of extra help or support. You might have a special educational need, a disability or a medical condition or just need a little bit of something different or a little bit of something extra and they will work with a big team of teaching assistants to look after you if that is what you need. Your school day will be 8.45 in the morning till quarter past three in the afternoon. There'll be 20 minutes of form time um, and assemblies run two days a week. But other than that, you'll be informed. There are five one hour lessons each day. You have a 20 minute break in the morning and a 50 minute lunch time. Your lessons are a lot different to what you will be experiencing at primary school because you will have a different teacher for all of the different subjects that you will be learning. And sometimes you might have two or more teachers, for example, two science teachers. So rather than having one or two people teaching you everything, you will have 10 to 12 teachers who will teach you just one particular subject, and they are all experts in their chosen subject area. We'll give you your timetable on your first day in September, so you'll know what lessons you'll have every day. And you'll be in lessons with students from different forms. So that's an opportunity for you to make even more friends. And the lessons will be in mixed attainment groups. 
That means there are students with a range of abilities in your lessons. And this is a way of teaching that we are really experienced in at Millthorpe. And another big change is that they're all in different classrooms around the school. So at this point, we always ask who is worried that they might get lost because the school is bigger than what you will be used to at primary school. And this is always a worry for pretty much every year six student before they move to Millthorpe. But I can tell you now that you will not get lost. And you might think, well, how can you promise me that? How, how can you be so sure that I won't get lost? Well, there'll be older students who will show you around until you settle in. There are teachers and other staff on the corridors that will show you where to go. The other students in school will help you if you're unsure. There's a map in your planner, signs on the walls, and the pastoral team and senior leadership team all walk the corridors all throughout the day and they have radios with them so we will be able to see you on the cctv get a message out on the radio and somebody will turn up and they will show you where to go and finally you will always still be at school so you're not lost you're just a little bit unsure where your next classroom is but you will never be lost so please don't worry about that when you get to Millthorpe, we will give you a planner um, and this helps you with things like homework and it's where you collect all of your rewards and things like that. We'll give you different exercise books for all of your subjects and a green pen for peer assessment, self-assessment and improving your work and also for writing down learning reflections. You need to bring black or blue pens, pencils, um, a math set and a scientific calculator. We can provide these in school for a small charge, or you might wish to get your own. So what do we expect at Millthorpe? Well, what we expect are called the three R's. Now, we expect everybody to always aim to be the best that we can be. And we are respectful, responsible and ready. So what do each of those actually mean? Now, in terms of being respectful, we are a warm and welcoming school. We have good relationships based on respect and kindness. We welcome being an individual and being different. We treat everybody with dignity and respect. We recognise that everyone has the right to learn and feel safe at all times. Everyone will feel happy and cared for so that we can all be the best that we can be. In terms of being responsible, the teachers and staff in school have a responsibility to make sure that we know every single student. There's lots of you, but that is our commitment. We will plan and teach you the best lessons that we can. We'll all work together to reach our goals. We ask you to be responsible for your own learning and aim to be a gold standard learner. And we have high expectations of you expecting you to work hard at all times. You need to respond well to feedback that you are given and any support that is provided from adults within the school. And we promote everybody being healthy, both physically and mentally, and we will support you with that. We're resilient. That means that we keep trying and we don't give up, even if things are hard, so that we can all be the best that we can be. And we expect you to be ready. What that means is we all work together so that we are always ready to learn. We're organised, prepared and motivated to be successful. We want to do our best. We keep trying and we don't give up. And we recognise that failing is a part of learning. Your teachers will encourage you to have a go. And there is a culture in classrooms where it's no problem if you try to answer a question and you get it wrong or something like that, because Everybody needs to do that in order to learn and make progress. We help you to be prepared for your life after Millthorpe and we use lessons and extracurricular activities to do that. And we ask you to make sure that you are engaged in your learning. You have high aspirations. That means you want to do absolutely the very best that you can so that you can be the best that we can be. We ask all students to go for gold in their lessons. But what does this actually mean? Now, 
here are the descriptors and these are the things that people are asked to do all students are asked to do in their lessons now learning conduct is totally different to academic ability so even if you struggle with learning that doesn't mean you can't go for gold on your learning conduct we want you to be motivated and engaged your effort is consistent and sustained throughout the whole lesson you contribute in class you respond well to challenge and you keep going if you find things difficult and you take steps to find out even more without being told that that's what you should be doing you're always motivated to respond positively to feedback and try to make improvements to your work and both what you say in terms of your verbal contributions in class and the written work that you produce are the best that is the best that you can you need to meet deadlines and complete your homework to the highest standard and you need to work really effectively both by yourself when you're working alone when you're working in pairs or groups and we insist that you treat all students and staff with dignity and respect at all times and if we can do this you will be rewarded we are working on improvements to our reward system but if you try your best and are well behaved you will be rewarded so at the moment we're writing ours and rewards in your planner your name will be displayed on the praise board we hand out golden tickets which mean that you can jump the queue at break or lunchtime with a friend there's a letter home and your name in the weekly email and those who get the most R's in each year group each week get to have a hot chocolate with Miss Greenhouse, the head teacher during the last lesson of the day every Friday we also run termly prizes where you can earn things like shopping vouchers or Easter eggs for example and we aim to take you on a reward trip if you've done well in the summer term and at the moment I'm busily planning a flamingo land trip for the current year seven and, and year eight so that's something we'll look to do for you as well now like all schools we do need to have sanctions if students don't meet those expectations we do expect everybody to meet all expectations all of the time we'll support you with that but you must come with the right attitude if a student makes a mistake and, and I don't mean like you get an answer wrong in class or something like that no you're encouraged to try and to try and have a go I don't mean that I mean if a student makes a, a mistake with their behavior there's a disruption in lesson um, they've not got the right equipment that sort of thing then they would get a point in their planner now an individual point doesn't mean much but if you get five and a half term that results in a 30 minute after school detention so you have five opportunities before you would get a sanction if a student was disrupting a lesson and they did that three times in one lesson now I have to say that your teachers will work incredibly hard to support that student and, and help them to make improvements so that this would never happen but if a student did carry on doing that that's not fair on the rest of the class so if they received three points they would then be taken out of that lesson and they'd receive a 60 minute after school detention that's very rare but I just wanted you to know that that's what would happen there are other sanctions if somebody gets things really wrong but it's so rare that that we won't go through this now but we will explain it in September but please don't worry about detentions almost all students never get any at all so it's not something to worry about if you can meet expectations and try to go for gold then you'll be absolutely fine but do feel reassured that if a student was disrupting your learning and not meeting our expectations we will deal with that now your school uniform will look like this um, it's blazers shirts and ties um, school trousers and skirts and school shoes year seven will wear a navy tie with a green stripe so this is the one that you need to be buying when you're buying your tie and we need to make sure that we're wearing our uniform smartly at all times a big change from primary school or lots of primary schools is that trainers and pumps and things like that are not allowed you have to wear smart school shoes so it shouldn't be a trainer a pump a boot or a plimsoll and shoes made by sportswear manufacturers 
our trainers that then they're, they're not shoes and they're not allowed so um things like nike adidas vans converse mallet these are not allowed they are trainers and they're not shoes now some shops um, are very clever with their advertising and they will tell you that the certain certain items are school shoes but you need to check them against these pictures because they might not be acceptable at Millthorpe. And if a shoe covers the ankle, that's a boot and they're not allowed. There are some examples there of, of what isn't allowed. So your Nike Air Force Ones and Nike TMs, mallets, Converse, Adidas trainers, boots, um, rubber toed, plimsolls, soles and, and, and all of that sort of thing. These are not allowed. So please check these carefully and make sure that your shoes are not like these. And they need to look something like this so a smart school shoe that is not a trainer not a pump limb sole or boot it is a smart formal school shoe that looks something like this these are just examples you obviously don't need to pick one of these but these are examples of what they should look like mobile phones and lockers mobile phones are not allowed to be used in school now we understand that you might want to bring it to school so you can let your parents or carers know that you've arrived at school safely, but then it must be switched off before form time. It needs to stay off for the whole day and not be used at any point of the school day, including break time and lunch time. You can hand it to reception for safekeeping or put it in your locker. But if it gets lost, damaged or stolen, that's your responsibility because it should be locked away safely all day. If you are seen using your phone, even to just check the time or things like that, it will be confiscated by a member of staff for the rest of the day. You will get it back at the end of the day, but it will be confiscated and you would receive one of the points. And lockers are freely available for, for you and you are lucky because you are the first year group back to school in September and it's only year seven in on that day. You'll be able to choose a locker um, in an area of the school that you want one. They're free to use, you just need a small padlock so you can bring one with you or buy one from school if you would prefer. Now lots of New Year 7s worry about homework as well, um, but please don't worry, it won't be as bad as you are thinking. Now you will get set homework and you are expected to do that to the best of your ability and hand it in on time. But we won't take over your life and you'll still have plenty of time to enjoy your hobbies and spend time with friends and family and we'll always give you plenty of time to complete it that means at least one night for every 15 minutes worth of homework that you are set and usually longer you will write that down in your planner and when it's due and homework tasks will also be uploaded to google classroom so you can check that from home and parents and carers can check that as well if you are struggling with a homework task, just talk to your teacher before it's due and they will help you. And if you're struggling with the amount of homework that you're getting, which you won't, but if you are worried about it, just talk to your form tutor and they will help. Another thing that lots of year sevens worry about is bullying. And it's normal to worry about something like this when you're moving to a, a new school and you're, you're unknown, there's, there's a, an element of the unknown about what happens in different schools so it is normal if you are feeling a little bit worried about this but please don't you don't need to now all good schools accept that bullying could happen and they have things in place to deal with it if it does we have a really clear anti-bullying policy in place so in the unlikely event that something does happen we will deal with it quickly and sensitively and you would be involved in that whole process. We won't do things um, to manage that situation without discussing it with you and your parents or carers first. So just speak to a trusted adult if something happens that shouldn't. To be clear, bullying behavior will never be tolerated at Millthorpe School. So please don't worry about it and please do feel reassured that we will deal with it if something does happen. You will have the opportunity to have your say. We've got a really committed and active student council under the guidance of Mr. Black and Mr. Sloan, who are pictured here. And each form will nominate a form rep who will go to meetings and represent you so that every student can have their say on what is happening in the school. 
more on that in September when you've joined us. And then some fun stuff. People ask us about clubs and activities. There are loads of clubs and activities for you to join. Some of these run at lunchtime. Some of them run after school. And as long as you are prepared to get involved, there is something for everybody and you definitely will not be bored. Some of the clubs include all types of sports, including football, netball, rugby, cricket, badminton, trampolining, table tennis, basketball, dodgeball, volleyball and more. There's lots of music clubs, glee club, jazz band, junior band, karaoke club, keyboard club, ukulele club and more. In drama we have a lambda club and a whole school production every year. And then there are other clubs that run and these are just some examples. Art, a drone club, coding and Minecraft, card games, chess, manga, film and book club, LGBTQ+, Young Carers, Culture Club, which is a diversity focus, and the Debate Club. So there's lots of things going on that you will be able to join in with and another great opportunity for you to not only have um, a great extracurricular offer, but to make lots of new friends as well. And then one that we always get asked about is trips. We do go on lots of trips and you will have the opportunity to go on all of them but you must be well behaved in school and some of them do cost quite a lot of money so you might not be able to go on all of them you might need to pick and choose now some of the trips that we go on include Bolton Abbey, Flamborough and Mappleton, Carlton Lodge, a first world war battlefield trip to Belgium and France, a geography trip to Sicily including a trip up Mount Etna, we run a, an exceptional Duke of Edinburgh programme where you'll be able to go on walking expeditions and camp with your friends. We run a ski and snowboarding trip. Well, we run two actually, one to Poland and one to Austria. An amazing trip to Iceland where we walk on glaciers and see waterfalls and get to swim in the famous Blue Lagoon. A beach holiday to Spain in the summer holidays where you can do things like snorkeling, windsurfing, kayaking and there's a great trip to a water park with lots of rides and slides as well. And this one's when you're much older in year 11 but we also run a trip to Krakow in Poland including a visit to a Nazi concentration camp Auschwitz-Birkenau. So there's lots of trips for you to look forward to when you join us but they do run over the course of the five years they're not all in year seven so what's next we'll send you an introduction to your form tutor that's once we've arranged all the form groups so that's a big job for us so once we've done that we'll send you an introduction to your form tutor and a bit more information about mrs roberts miss forrester and myself we'll then welcome you and your parents and carers to our new year seven information evening on monday the 4th of july and you'll then come to Millthorpe to spend the day with us on Wednesday the 6th of July for your induction day. More information about those events will follow. Thank you for listening. I hope that you found that helpful and we are really looking forward to seeing you soon. In the meantime, take care.